Who would be a Tottenham fan, hey? Honestly, who would be a Spurs fan? I don't know, because that game today against Luton Town summed up our whole season. Honestly, I just... Such a good win in the end. Really vital in this season. But, honestly, an emotional roller coaster, a whirlwind of a game. I just can't believe what I've seen before my eyes. It was absolutely crazy. But, you know, Tottenham come out 2-1 winners back at home after the international break, after a very disappointing game against Fulham away at Craven Cottage where we fell to a 3-0 to V. We bounced back, you could say, beating Luton 2-1 with goals from Tahif Chong, from an own goal by Kabore and a winner from our Korean talisman, Hyung Min Sun. But yeah, where do we begin? We begin with the start and the start of the game was was quite shocking, I'm not going to lie. I um, I was on my way back from somewhere, so I had to listen to it on my beloved TalkSport, and I was shook. You know, I've just got in, 15 minutes had gone, and I had it on the radio, and Tottenham are losing already at home against Luton, thanks to amazing work by Spurs old boy Andros Townsend. You know, fair play to Andros, I'm sure he got a good reception at the stadium, but, you know, he works it to Ross Barkley, who's been absolutely unbelievable for Luton, and uh, plays it across the area to um, to Chong, who slots it home. I think defensively from this goal, we were very suspect. I see Pedro Poro getting blocked off. Very naive defending early on in a game of this magnitude. You know, we need to win to keep up our top four and Champions League hopes. And Luton need to win because, you know, they're in a relegation scrap. You've got the likes of Nottingham Forest with the points deduction on their back. You've got Everton, you know, picking up results here and there. But, you know, struggling at the moment as well. I think they lost in the Premier League. So, yeah, a very surprising, um, you know, start to the game. And, you know, the first half summed up some of our recent fixtures. Starting games a bit slowly. Uh, slowly. You know, not really bopping it around how we knew at the beginning of the season what we'd seen which was quite frustrating. And all I kept seeing was just sluggish play, you know, not many runs happening. It was it was quite frustrating. Timo Werner missing a glorious chance. I mean, today, I'll be honest, I have been quite a defender of Timo Werner, but he showed me today I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if he's, he's the perfect Tottenham player if we want to go to that next level. But Son as well missed an amazing chance where it, Honestly, the chances today, I mean, I'm going to get on to the obvious one, but he hits both posts. It goes across. The, I saw it out of a FIFA game. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Um, so that summed up the first half, really. And, you know, Rob Edwards' side, you know what they came to do. They came to frustrate. They came to sit in, low block, time waste. You know, and I understand that. This is Luton Town, you know. Amazing season they're having, all things considered. I think they thought, many people thought they would have been down by now in the Premier League. But they're defying the wads and you've got to say fair play to them. And I'm going to get the stats up right now because I'm, I'm intrigued to see what it was. So, again, 17 shots for Tottenham, four on target, which is wild. We had 70% possession. They had seven shots and three on target, which, you know, is more than I thought. But they did have some key moments in the game. Um, but Ange did something that he hasn't done much lately. He changed the team. You know, I think Kulisevsi was struggling um, out there. So he took him off and brought Brennan Johnson off. And this is where the title comes from. Brennan Johnson saved our season along with Sun. Brennan Johnson came on. Him and Pedro Porro on that right-hand side were dynamic. They were incredible, electric. Really liked what I saw from those two. And they were just intertwining. And we got the equaliser through um, a Kabore own goal. Um, got it past Kaminsky because of the amazing cross that was delivered. Um, so that got us into the game. And we had a nice spell after that. But before I go any further, I'd just like to say if you are new to the channel and this is the first time you've discovered Sunny Talk Spurs, why don't you leave a like on the video to show me that you are new and uh, hit the subscribe button as well. Lots of Tottenham Hotspur videos going on uh, on the channel with me just, you know, deep diving into player stuff and uh, the team under Ange Postacoglu. Lots of good videos went live lately, so go and check them out. Put the notification bell on as well, and also you can become a member of Sunny Talk Spurs. Link in the description down below and get ex exclusive access to my podcast, Nice One Sunny, for just 99p a month. So yeah, 
that spiel out of the way, just wanted to plug the channel to new people, um, people discover me for the first time. But yeah, so Postacoglu have made these changes and a lot of Tottenham fans have questioned his substitutes. Are they coming too late in games? You know, all that sort of stuff. But he made, you know, he made some bold changes in this game. You know, he substituted James Madison off, which at the time I was quite surprised at. And Sarah as well, and he brought on Benton Corn and the Celso. Um, but there is rumours that Madison could have got injured in that game. But obviously, I'm not sure on that just yet. But, you know, any update, we will see. Um, and then there was the, the mad chance, which was um, Brennan Johnson uh, has a shot in the area, um, quite close to Kaminsky. And Kaminsky point blank saves it. And Alfie Doherty, who is an FPL legend, I've, I took him out of my team. I don't know if he'll get any points for this. Cleared it off the line. All he had to do was rotate one more step. Just one more step and uh, it would have been a goal. But yeah, Luton kept on frustrating. But as I say, it sums up, sums up our season. A late goal by Sun um, with amazing work on the left-hand side from Werner. So this is why I'm, I'm, I'm unsure about him. Uh, and just... Really good work from Johnson to pick out Sun. It takes a bit of a deflection, but Sun, who's our amazing talisman, now has 160 goals uh, for Spurs, overtaking club legend Cliff Jones. I'm sure Cliff Jones, you know, with that result, he'll be happy that he surpassed him in the end. And, you know, this keeps us now in the fight for Champions League. It's, it, I said this when we beat Brighton. You know, these results, we've got some really tricky games to come. We've got Chelsea, who bottled it today against Burnley. We've got Liverpool, Arsenal and City. So we have a say in this title race. And, you know, it's properly heating up. So these games at home against the likes of Luton, we have to get points. And don't get me wrong, I think a lot of the discourse after this will be about certain individual performances. Like, is Basuma still off it? What's going on with Saar? But we saw... They came into the game, like they, they, they came into themselves into that second half. They really exploded. Pedro Porro, Adogi looked better. Dragerson was more comfortable on the ball. Vicario made an amazing save. Um, I think when it was one all, got down. He, Vicario is amazing at scrambling across his line. He's like bloody um, Mr. Elastic or something, or um, Stretch Armstrong. That's what I was thinking of, uh, if you're uh, young, uh, old enough to remember Stretch Armstrong. But yeah, absolutely just flailing around. But just an important result. Ange Postecoglou will see this as an important momentum build. You know, Spurs fans alike have been frustrated the last two weeks about, you know, not having any football to rectify that Fulham result. And this game will be pivotal now to hopefully, you know, be that springboard and catalyst list to help us have a strong end to the season whether that's getting top four Champions League fifth place if that gets Champions League or even Europa League you know I believe we're on such a good path under this manager and it's just going to take like these little bits you know James Madison clicking and Dejan Kulisevsky and don't get me wrong a lot of them are getting stick at the moment but I can I, I can see the vision and I believe in this vision more than you know any of the last previous managers, Jose, Conte, Nuno, whoever. It's working out. It's, it's, they're teething problems. There's going to be teething problems. But at the end of the day, I know this result is frustrating. Say in the first half, we watched that first half, and I'm, I'm frust as frustrated as any fan. But got to keep the momentum going into the end of the season. It's going to be important. It's going to be, you know, pivotal. And having players, you know, like Son and Johnson coming up in these moments, I think Johnson... That's him securing a starting spot now. There's a lot of starting spots up for grabs in this team. So, you know, we want to see good performances. And especially after a week where, you know, Johnson is not going to the Euros with Wales. They got knocked out by on penalties by Poland. Maybe um, Rob Page should have kept him on a, a bit longer in that game. Um, you know, didn't realise what he had as an asset. But yeah. Very happy with that result. Very, very happy. But let me know in the comments down below what you made of that result. Is it going to be a string, uh, springboard to the end of the season? Or are you are you worried about certain aspects of Spurs? Let me know all your thoughts. And as I said about halfway through the video, if you are new to the channel, uh, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and become a member. Link in the description down below. But yeah, I'll see you again during the week. And until then, tatty bye.